Hello, everyone. It's Steve with Adaptive Owners, Owners Club. Uh, we're continuing with the Investor webinar from June 2024. Uh, this part is about technical and sourcing partners. So a little bit to talk about here. Technical and sourcing. So now getting into, okay, we, uh, we have a funding path. We have the money to do this. Uh, how do we align all the partners uh, that we need to fill this facility with the parts and equipment uh, to actually produce uh, these vehicles? Uh, we have amazing strategic partners. We've obviously talked about CPC in Italy quite a bit. Um, they've been amazing at making our body structures, our banks, uh, but also aligning us with other suppliers for things like the chassis and suspension parts. Uh, they have a whole ecosystem uh, of suppliers in Europe there. Um, and the Italian government uh, has been terribly supportive uh, of our efforts, uh, and we think we'll um, hopefully have some press uh, on that that you'll be seeing soon. Okay, so this has been probably in my opinion, the most important partnership that Aptor has. Uh, maybe Monroe Associates is uh, maybe more important, but CPC has been very, very huge. Um, you can, you'll can you see that these, these other partnerships, most of these have been through CPC. I mean, that's what it seems like when you look at who these are, uh, these new ones. Um, so CPC obviously has been building cars for a long time and they've been building supercars. They know what they're doing, and that is probably one of the more important um, strategic partnerships that Aptera has um, uh, put together. Um, and Ron Associates, uh, Sandy and his team have just been amazing at, uh, at helping us design the facility to be uh, truly lean manufacturing, uh, to design the Aptera to be the most manufacturable vehicle in the world. Um, we, we didn't stop at just being the most efficient vehicle in the world. We also wanted to be the most manufacturable. Uh, and it was amazing to meet Sandy so early uh, on in our evolution that he could. Yes, yeah, so I think it's important that Aptera is not making only an efficient car. They are trying to make an efficient way to make an efficient car. So I think I, I love that whole ethos of Aptera. To really impact the design such that we really have a manufacturable uh, vehicle uh, to the nth degree. Uh, and Cherry Automotive uh, is now the second largest uh, auto manufacturer in China. Uh, they're, they're the number one vehicle exporter uh, in China, so they have uh, tremendous leverage uh, in their supply chain. And we've licensed two of their vehicle platforms and used parts from both of those vehicle platforms uh, in, in the Aptera. So um, it's been a really, um, it's been a boon for us to have access to such uh, high quality uh, parts um, that uh, that can make the Aptera uh, even less expensive. So I, I kind of wonder like what are they are sourcing from Cherry? Like, is it drivetrain? Is it, that? it's not batteries. Is it HVAC? Is it cooling? Yeah, hard to know. Um, we also have uh, um, other great partners. Um, uh, Roush uh, helped us design our suspension and our door closure system. Um, you know, they've done amazing engineering over the years for some of the biggest companies, some of the highest volume door programs in the world. Um, so we could have hired a door team to design those doors. Uh, and, you know, Chris told me, like, I wouldn't have thought that door closures were super important, but evidently this is something very hard to engineer. And so they, they offloaded that to Roush. Um, or, uh, or we could have Roush do it, and we did. Uh, choose to have Rush do it. Um, uh, Herscher Automotive for our, our glass supply, CTNS uh, in Korea for our battery packs, uh, Maxion for our solar cells, uh, HSL in Italy for our lighting, uh, and Coastamp for uh, a lot of our um, die cast uh, aluminum parts. Um, some of this may be uh, mildly repetitive. Uh, I know that a lot of you have, have really followed our story and uh, kept up on what we're doing uh, before the education of those that are new to our story uh, and haven't uh, paid as much attention to a lot of these presentations. I'll, I'll maybe go over some stuff that we covered in other presentations, which we've covered some of these suppliers before, but it's exciting to finally be at a point where we're putting a pin uh, in all these supply agreements and really getting ready for production. So um, it's... Okay, all right. So a couple of things, HSL lighting, um, well, let's go to Coastamp first. So Coastamp is an Italian company. And so I have to think that this introduction was made by CPC. And so they make a, a lot of these like um, um, cast uh, metal parts, um, front and back cross members, shock tower, central console, like this kind of stuff. So they are making the chassis for Aptera. So that big chassis piece, that um, holds the battery pack and attaches um, the front and rear suspension elements to 
that's going to be made by Cosnap. That's been um, something we've wondered about for a little while. HSL Lighting. This is another Italian company and they do all all kinds of lighting and they they do um, lighting systems on small series cars. Now, what was confusing to me is before their headlamps were made by Magworks. Um, and I don't know if that's still the case. So here's Magworks. And then if you go to Magworks Vision, you get a 404 error. So like something's down with their website. And I wonder if Magworks is running into some problems. So they had to find a secondary supplier and then they got introduced to HSL lighting um, through um, uh, CPC. I'm gonna try to clarify what the status of Magworks is. I mean, it's, it's possible that Magworks is still doing the headlights, but HSL is doing, you know, maybe the chmsl or the rear lights or the interior lights or some other lighting uh for it but uh it is a little surprising that magworks vision there there are the there are four for uh, error on that and then magworks led which is one of their older um uh older pages this hasn't been updated since 2016 uh, this is all you get from that so mm, i don't know what's going on there so i'll try to figure that out uh roush we already know about ctns we are very familiar with they announced that kind of a few months ago that partnership with the korean group now this is a this is another startup company they um they are relatively a small company as well maxion's a big company um spinoff from sunpower they, they've been around um so i don't i don't think that there's any much issue there and then H herschler automotive never heard of these people um, they are actually a Hungarian company, and I suspect that um, this was also an introduction from CPC Group. Now, uh, many of you guys noticed on the un non-commentary, unedited uh, webinar that I posted that there is a conspicuous lack of alafe on this partnership. And I think... Um, I, I, can't think that that, that, I can't think that that's a mistake. That can't be a mistake. Alafe has been something that Aptera talked about for a long, long time. And the fact that Alafe does not show up on here um, is not uh, an oversight. It, it, it was purposely missed is, is the only way I can think of it. Now, uh, Chris McKenna came on our Discord and said, um, I, I mean, pretty much said it's, it's, it's not a mistake and that we shouldn't speculate too much on what it is, but they, they are going to clarify what that, what that, um, conspicuous uh missing of alafe on this list means in the future but alafe is not on the list so if you go to alafe's website still aptera shows up and like and like here the uh, endurance shows up and lightyear shows up and you remember that um that lordstown is now defunct and so um, alafe was producing the hub motors for uh um, Lordstown and for Lightyear, both of those companies are now defunct. So here's the Lightyear vehicle, um, and uh, Aptera is on here. But maybe there is something happening here, and I don't. It seems like Alafe is no longer a partner at this point for Aptera, based on them being missing from this slide. Um, and I think we're just going to have to be patient. Um, and find out what the deal is uh, with the powertrain. And hopefully we get some clarity on that in the next month or so. All right, um, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, it does look like the supply chain is shifting um, pretty significantly to Europe. So CPC, Europe, Co-Stamp Europe, Lighting Europe, uh, Solar Glass Solution Europe. Uh, this is Korea. Uh, so Maxion, I think. Is that a Chinese or Japanese company? I'm not sure. Roush, obviously an American company. Uh, Cherry Automotive, Chinese company. Monroe, obviously an American company, Italian company. All right, so yeah, but it is kind of, it is shifted towards, I think this strategic partnership, which has been very important for Aptera, has shifted a lot of their other um, supply chain partnerships to Europe. These are, these are probably people that CPT has worked uh, previously in the past with and has a good relationship with and a good working relationship with. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, have a great day.